Following the tragic passing of champion Arrogate earlier this year, Judd Mott Farm hopes that his offspring will serve as a memorial to North America's richest racehorse. We visited Leif Aaron at Judd Mott and spoke with him about the first of three crops of yearlings by Arrogate. From early on in Arrogate's career, uh, physically he was highly regarded, but I don't think that they thought he was gonna be the star he ended up being. And I think really the coming out party for that was the Traverse, because there were still questions to be answered at that point. That was really his coming on the scene to say, I'm a top three-year-old at classic distances, and I'm gonna go on as an older horse and, and, and show him what I'm made of. Arrowgate, what a commanding performance. He won the Traverse by 12. Oh, what a race he ran today. American freedom. I think that the one thing that Arrowgate had that really set him apart from everybody was an incredibly high cruising speed. There's just not many horses that could do what he did and keep going. That brilliance is what people really remember because that's not something you see every day. And it really didn't matter how the race set up. He had the talent to get it done. Harrogate was a really straightforward, you know, kind of horse. He was a kind of, you know, don't mess around with me, man. It's business all the time. It, it was amazing about him was, is it seemed like the farther you went, the faster you went. It, his stamina was unbelievable. Uh, it, it, all out at a mile and a quarter, I'm, I'm not too sure you didn't see one of, one of, if not the fastest horse you'd ever see. It. So with the Airgate yearlings this year, we're really excited because, you know, what everybody wants right now is scope and substance. And those are two of the things that a lot of these yearlings have. To me, it's a good mixture of unbridled song and distorted humor, uh, kind of with the scope and the prettiness of unbridled song, but with the substance that distorted humor throws in there which is really the best of both worlds. A lot of big breeders are telling me this is the best horse they've ever raised, that, that you know, they're so excited about their the individual. And, you know, we only bred 143 mares in the first crop. One of the traits that Arrogate possessed and also his offspring possessed, it's kind of an intangible trait and that would be his personality. they are horses that want to be on the move, want to be busy. Um, they're kind of alphas to a degree, uh, don't like to stand still. We're really at the end of the day, only gonna have three crops from him. And you know, it's, who knows what he'll be. He could be anything. I mean, he was one of the greatest racehorses of all time. This year with the yearlings, it is a little bittersweet for us because losing Airgate was a massive loss for the farm. It was a massive loss to the breeders that supported him. It was a massive loss to the fans. And I think the history books will show that it'll end up being a massive loss to the breed. I mean, he was such a talent and his offspring look absolutely special. So he has every chance underneath him to keep the, the torch going and, and we would love to see that happen.